All right, guys, welcome back. Another day of Instacarting. Gonna try to get some good orders today. Been over here probably two hours now. I haven't seen anything that was worth it. And now I got a $32 order for 95 items, 113 units. This might not be worth it either, but I'm gonna try and knock it out. All right, so let's go knock this out. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long. I know it's probably gonna take closer to an hour, but I kind of know this store like the back of my hand now. So hopefully we can just knock it out real quick. All right, I'll get back with you guys when, <clears throat> I gotta say that over. I'll get back with you guys <laughs> when I get done. <laughs> I'm back. That order was terrible. Some of it's in here. Some of it's in the trunk. I don't think Instacart should allow customers to order so much at stores. And I know we talk about like um, Costco and Inst or, um, Sam's Club always having too many items, but those are bulk items and whatnot, which they still should limit them too, because you know most people are not driving big trucks. It doesn't make sense, like. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you guys think on this. I just feel like it was way too much. I'm going to insert a picture right here so you can see the cart. <laughs> it just, it took like an hour and 20 minutes to shop, which I'm not complaining about the timing. It's just trying to fit everything into a cart without damaging something. It's almost impossible. Like, I'm not about to go around the store with three carts just to make sure everything's okay. The eggs, the vegetables, the boxes of Pop-Tarts or whatever it might be. That's just for the stupid. It's completely stupid. But then she added like two extra, she added some, what is it? Not sanitizer, but um, softener, detergent, and then some Febreze, some heavy duty stuff after you already had a bunch of heavy stuff. So I don't know, I just feel dude, $32, this was not worth it. Especially going over an hour, like that's definitely not worth it. So. If she don't raise my tip, your boy might not be doing this much longer. <laughs> this is <laughs> it's for the birds, and it's like I'm waiting around just to get an order that's this tough. Like that's not cool. Like I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go drop this off, and I'll get back with you if I get another order. Cause I need to relax in between. All right, guys. So she did raise my tip. So the total order came up to fifty-two eighty-eight. So I guess it was sort of worth it because the last time i shopped that much or had that much food it was for a 50 dollar order so i guess that's okay i forgive her <laughs> but man that was tough that was very tough and we re refunded a couple things which i didn't care to refund because it was such a big order i knew it wouldn't affect too much but in those little things like kool-aid and something else but it got to the end where I was sending stuff. I had sent stuff earlier and she hadn't responded. Yeah, I have to just start refunding. I didn't want her response because I wasn't about to keep going around that store with a heavy cart. So anyway, I'm gonna go wait it out again and see if we can get something else. All right guys, trying to recover, get in a better mood. Quit being a Debbie Downer. But you all know how that goes. So just got a 2732 unit. 42 about to go knock this out real quick all right guys um so i'm finished with the day today i'm kind of just a little frustrated with instacart and just like trying to get batches and waiting all day and only making a little bit of money uh, I, I know i haven't been getting up early so it could be that playing into it too but the days that i have gotten up early i'm not making this <clears throat> I'm not making as much as what I was before since this new update. So I don't know if it's every update they they fuck with us. Like to be honest with you, um, but that's what it feels like. Cause that's like at least I was seeing shitty batches. Now I'm like seeing nothing again. But I don't know. It could just be the saturation. People taking vacations right now and not really cooking in. I mean we're thinking that. Uh, we're thinking that like the Memorial Day weekend is like bringing in uh, people, but maybe just not to certain areas. You don't have a hotspot area, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, we finished off at just um, $100.28, which that's pretty good. Both of my orders ended up turning out pretty good. I know I was bitching about the, the first one, but it literally was a lot. Like I'm not even gonna sit here and act like it wasn't. It kind of threw off my whole day. Like, I'm still a little pissy about it. Try not to be that way, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I just wish that would have been a little different. I'm so thankful that they upped the tip, honestly. 
but that was just a lot, man, like, it was a lot, like, just shopping for that was just, like, wow, wow, but they had kids, it was a family, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't understand, I can't, I can empathize, I guess, to a degree, but I don't fully understand, like, the family aspect of buying that much food. So, $100.28, that's it for today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get better with the content and just try to make it more entertaining, but it's like, I'm having shitty days and I don't wanna like, like some videos I haven't even put out just because like, it's just, I'm in a bad mood. I'm trying to make money and I can't. It's just frustrating, you know? But I try to always put the positivity out there, so that's why you won't see those videos, so. But anyway, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to stick to what I, who I am, who I try to be, and what I want to be in the future, which is a burst of positivity because we need more of that in the world because negativity is going to come regardless. I don't think any person needs to be negative at all because we're going to have negative things that just automatically happen. It's just nature. So we need to try to be that positive balance in between everything and for everyone. So with that being said, I just want to say... Keep your head up and if you're in the same boat as me just stay focused and try to keep grinding and keep moving forward and going towards your dreams your goals this is solidifying that i cannot stay with instacart long i like making these videos and i think these videos are going to lead to me getting a following but i hope that anybody that is an instacart shopper or looking at instacart videos are tend to this is a financial sector because you're watching you're watching videos on how to make money pretty much or people making money so this falls into the financial sector which is something i'm very interest interested in like everyone else is whether you're broke poor rich whatever i don't know and people might say broken poor those are different things poor is kind of the mindset broke is literally anybody can be broke anybody it's a difference but anyway so yeah it's this is gonna be a financial channel because i think like this is solidifying that the fact that i can't do instacart for over a year like i said um yeah so i'm, all, I'm already thinking of different things to kind of do right now to intertwine it's like those days that are slow if i had something else like right now i have nothing else like helping i guess combat that like I have cryptocurrency, I have all those other things, but it's like I want to hold on to those things. Especially, it dropped now, so I can't go around selling crypto like I was before, like when I got my car, or, well, it doesn't matter, you guys don't even know about this, I wasn't document documenting a lot of that, but anyway, just, I want to hold on to my crypto. I do want to bigger, build a bigger portfolio, especially now that it's like dropping, but yeah, I gotta figure something out, and I think I'm gonna take you guys on the, along the ride because whatever I'm doing might inspire you to do something else for yourself or even go on the same path that I am and realize that, okay, I need to try that out. You know, sometimes you just gotta be introduced to different things. And even though you might see other people filming or doing these things and like sharing what they're doing and they have thousands of views, thousands of followers and all that, you could be that one person that reaches somebody that that, that person doesn't get to see or get to reach, I should say. Because the algorithm is so complex that you might think so everybody knows about some YouTuber and you go ask somebody and just the way that they search and look at things of their own nature for years, like, they see completely different people. So like I said, like just do what you want to do. If you want to record, record and um, you might reach a different person. So yeah, just do what you do. Stay stay positive and keep moving forward and just keep spreading positivity even when you have a bad day and if you have a really bad day go home and sort it out like just go take take a relaxation day like today I probably should have took off you know but I didn't like spread the negativity to my it didn't affect my work I still presented a smile presented the same person to them as if I was making 200 today so, with that being said, have a good one, stay safe, and um, happy holiday. Um, be, be safe this weekend if you're on the lake or whatever you're doing. Drink responsibly, and just stay safe and always be positive. Wake up positive. Have a good one.